When I was a kid, I wanted to take pictures of my friends, family, pets, landscape, buildings, and anything and everything possible. So my mother brought me a camera, and this is it. The Vivitar Big View BV35. The BV35 is a compact film camera that has an electronic shutter, red eye reduction, and built in flash. It also comes with motorized drive to pull and rewind film, and a built in lens cover that doubles as the camera's power switch. A green light on the back indicates when the flash is fully charged, which is handy in dimly lit spaces. The BV35 comes with, as its name implies, a big viewfinder, which guarantees that whatever I wanted a picture of will be framed correctly. This however is the most the BV35 has going for it. While a big viewfinder is nice, the BV35 is far from being a creative person's camera. Vivitar, being the budget camera company that it is, used phrases like autofocus motor to market the BV35. But in reality, the phrase means nothing. The camera's fixed lens and narrow aperture meant it focuses on infinity, and everything is captured in focus. That pretty much means you have no control over your image. You can't do things like selective focus, bokeh, or exposure control. You also have no control over when the flash should fire, which can mean overexposed pictures. Not only that, the flash takes a while to charge, which means you can miss the perfect moment to shoot. Since the BV35 is a film camera, you do have many options with film speed, which gives you some control over image exposure. But these days, film is difficult to find, even in grocery stores and pharmacies. A tiny window on the top right indicates how many exposures you have left, but it is numbered only in increments of 4 with tiny dots in between which makes it hard to read. If the window was a little larger, it wouldn't be so bad. The BV35 has a decent grip, but not for both hands. On the right hand, gripping the camera is comfortable. The shutter button is spaced nicely for the average person's index finger, and the back of the camera has a contour for the user's thumb. The BV35 exposure counter can be blocked from view, however, by the users with large index fingers. On the left hand, gripping the camera can go two ways. If you hold the camera in an L-shaped grip, it will provide maximum support and stability. Most people, me included, tend to grip the BV35 the same way they do with their right hand. While stability is a non-issue, the camera can slip out of the hand without proper support. And if the camera isn't handled the right way, the user's thumb can open the film door accidentally. Ordinary folks probably wouldn't care about stuff like ergonomics and control. I know I didn't when I saw this camera for the first time. I just wanted to take pictures. And for that kid back in 1997, the BV35 was a nice hobbyist camera. It is extremely light and fits well in the hand, and the only thing to know about using the camera was pointing and shooting. Loading and unloading film is a skill you learn once and never forget. And batteries can last several months on end without draining. Sadly, film was the only thing keeping me from being a shutterbug. It cost money to buy film and even more money to develop and print photos. The advent of the cheap digital camera, however, made my life of being a shutterbug a little easier.